Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and today we're taking the gaming setup to a whole new level. Now I've been using RGB lighting for years, but this new kit from Govi is something else. So unlike other LED strips that you simply stick to the back of your monitor and manually change the colours, these will sync up to what's on your screen creating a crazy immersive experience. And it's all done via this HDMI box. It's called the AI Gaming Sync Box, and it supports up to 4K and up to 240Hz. And it will work across any HDMI device that you plug in. Over the last week, I've tested this with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, and the results have been really good for both gaming and movies. Today, I'll get this unboxed, set it up, and show you how it works and what features it supports, along with any issues I've had along the way. So first up, inside the box, it comes with the brains of the setup, the HDMI sync box. Then we have the two light bars, which will go either side of the monitor. This is the LED strip that will go on the back of the monitor. We've got some manuals, two HDMI cables, a power brick and some feet for the light bars. Then we have a couple of other accessories including some mounting clips for the LEDs and a screwdriver. When it comes to setting these up, it's a five minute job. I probably spent more time deciding where to place the HDMI box. So firstly, we have the strip lights and these need to stick on the rear of the monitor using the provided 3M tape. And what's great is the corners actually have these bendy pieces making it really easy to install. Now this kit is designed for monitors between 27 and 34 inches. I mean you could install this on a larger monitor if you are happy for the strips to be more central to the rear, but ideally you want a monitor between the recommended range. So the one that I'm using here is a 27 inch Ultra Gear monitor, and these LED strips fit perfectly on the back. And just to keep the corners looking nice and tidy so you cannot see them from the front, I've used the provided clips to stick them to the back of the screen. And once the LEDs are installed, I place the two light bars either side of the monitor and connect everything up via USB-C and HDMI. Then it's a case of running through the Gobi app setup screen and we're pretty much good to go. And here it is, so we've got the LED light strip on the back of the monitor and the two light bars either side, and this looks really good. Even with just a static image on the screen, you could already see the colours that are represented on the lights. But if I now move between the different images and screens, this is where you see not only how accurate the colours are, but how fast it changes. There is no delay here at all, at least from what I can see. Playing games on the PS5 like Spider-Man where the environment is changing pretty quickly, you can see how the lights and bars keep up with what's on the screen. Whether I'm moving quickly or slowly panning, the LEDs match the majority of the colours very well. And the same goes for FPS games like Modern Warfare, or racing games like GT7. Having something like this just changes the whole immersive experience while playing games. These are also bright enough to see during the day, but it's at night where you really notice how awesome they look. I jumped on Apex Legends as this is a crazy vibrant game, and this is probably the best game to show off the colours. Govi have said it has a 99% accurate colour matching technology built in, and as there's no external camera, it's not going to be affected by other lights in your room. And this is really noticeable with pretty much every game that I've tested. Well next I hooked up the Xbox Series X and I played some Hi-Fi Rush, as again this game is really vibrant and it looks awesome on here. Then there's the AI gaming features, which is what sets this box apart from the others. First you'll need to enable this in the settings, it's called AI identification. What this does is it allows certain games and actions in those games to display differently via the lights, and this is an awesome new feature that is exclusive to these lights. So we know that the lights react to what's on the screen, but what this does is it reacts to the action itself. So take Apex Legends for example. When you're reviving or using a syringe, the light bars will display a light effect that represents that going from red to green. The same if you've been eliminated or knocked. The light bars will show this too, they will go red. So what it does is it takes elements of the screen and it converts those into a light effect rather than just using the environment. And this isn't like any other lighting kit that's out there, as effectively it uses an AI chip to read the in-game actions. It is pretty cool and I am impressed with just how well it works. But here are all of the games that are currently supported to use these AI lighting effects. Hopefully over the coming year we will see more and more games added, as it would be great to see games like Call of Duty or Modern Warfare on here. Now although I've shown you how this looks for gaming, because that's how this product is marketed, this can be used for so much more. Take movies and normal TV shows for example. You could use the media apps on your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox to get a whole different experience. I've tested a few different movies and scenes, and the response and colour accuracy is incredible. It definitely makes watching movies a lot more immersive. On top of that, this does support HDR and Dolby Vision, so you'll get that same pass through to your monitor as you would expect from the consoles. 
But it's not just consoles, as long as your device has an HDMI output, you can run it via the sync box. So you could plug in an Amazon Fire Stick, Apple TV, PC, Blu-ray player, anything that's an HDMI. Hopefully Govi bring out a kit that's more suitable for TVs, as I have used their camera kits before, but this HDMI sync box is so much cleaner. And as for the box itself, well on the front it's got two buttons, one for switching between the three HDMI inputs, and the other is the power button. And something you might have noticed is there's an RGB lighting on the front, and this syncs and matches exactly what's on the back of your monitor. And that's a pretty cool idea, but if you don't like this, you can actually switch it off in the app. Then around the back we've got three HDMI inputs which can be used for three different devices, and there's one HDMI out to connect to your monitor. And next to that we have two USB-C ports which is what powers the light strips and the light bars. Now this HDMI box does support up to 4K and up to 240Hz. So if you're gaming at 1440p and 120Hz, this box will be perfect for you. I'm using a 27 inch 1440p OLED monitor, so for me this is absolutely fine. I'm not losing anything here at all. But it does not support HDMI 2.1. This means if you do need 4K and 120Hz, this box will limit what your monitor will receive. You'd need to pick either 4K 60Hz or 1440p and 120Hz. To get the full 240Hz, you'll need to select 1080p. So most of what I've shown you today works straight out of the box. You power it on, connect up your devices, and you get this awesome effect across everything that you see. But the Govi app can be used to get even more from it. So I've been using that app for a couple of years now with different lights I have around the house. And within the app, you can control things like the brightness, static colors, lighting effects, and even adding more lights to a group. It's called Dream View, and it allows you to sync other gaming lights together. You will need the app to get set up for the first time, but after you've done this, you can go ahead and just use the box on its own. Another option, if you're not in the mood for a full interactive light show, is to DIY the light effects instead. So within the app, you can customize the lighting of the LEDs and the light bars. This is the type of vibe I normally go for in my setups, that purple, pink, and orange theme. But again, within the app, there are so many colors and preset themes to choose from, which means there should be something for everybody and their setup. So that was a quick look at Gobi's latest AI gaming sync box. It works well in my setup and it's only held back very slightly by the lack of HDMI 2.1. But as mentioned, if you're gaming on a 1440p monitor, this won't affect you anyway. Oh, and the price, this comes in at $300, so it's not cheap. But it's an awesome kit, especially with that AI functionality to add to your setup. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you drop a gaming RGB in the comments, I'll give you a thumbs up for staying right till the end. Thanks for watching, please like, sub and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.